welcome to the DCE Tool Demo Part 1. In this demo, you will learn how to use the DCE Tool to analyze your dynamic contrast-enhanced CT images. Once the DCE Tool is launched, the screen is divided into three sections. The left side contains your image dataset and a time browser to help you browse through the images. The right side is the image acquisition protocol settings. Use the Time Browser to visualize the contrast uptake at any one slice through time. Or use the Slice Browser to visualize the different slices. The DCE tool automatically detects the image acquisition protocol, however you can change the settings yourself. For example, for this data set, slices 240 to 242 are acquired at an 8 second interval rather than 7. Similarly, slices 250 to 252 are acquired at a 15 second interval. Your time protocol is also displayed in a graph here. Click Confirm Time Protocol, and then click Continue to proceed. To generate contrast uptake curves, you need to contour your region of interest or import them from an existing file. Let's contour our own region of interest. Use the magnifying glass to enlarge the image. Or you can press the Control key and use the scroll wheel to zoom. Use the hand to pan the image across the screen. Or you can press the control key and left click to pan. We will use the polygonal contouring tool to contour the external iliac artery and the tumor. To contour, simply click on the artery to outline the vessel. To close a region of interest, click over the first point that you selected and it will close automatically. We will do the same for the tumor. We can generate the contrast uptake curves by clicking the calculate button. We can rename our region of interest. The next step is to subtract the baseline enhancement. Left click and drag the cursor over the area on the graph to zoom in. We will use the first 10 data points to calculate the baseline enhancement for both region of interest. In addition, you can remove any extreme outliers in your dataset by right-clicking on any particular outlier and select Remove Data Point. This function allows you to reduce noise in your dataset that may be caused by artifact or respiratory motion. You can restore your original dataset by clicking the Calculate button again. We are now ready to analyze the data. Select the external iliac artery for the arterial input function. Then select the tumor for analysis. We can analyze more than one tissue region of interest if needed. There are two published kinetic models that you can use, and the DCE tool will automatically generate a semi-quantitative analysis of your study, regardless of which kinetic model you select. We will select the modified Tofts model. Verify or change the time period for determining the initial area under the curve. Likewise, verify or change the time period for determining the initial slope of contrast uptake. Enter the correct metacrit value. We can determine the onset time of contrast uptake by zooming into the graph. It is 10 seconds for the artery and 11 seconds for the tumor. We can enter these values into the onset time box. Click Analyze. 
This screen shows the results of the analysis. The graph shows the measured contrast optic curve of the tumor and the contrast optic curve of the tumor fitted using the modified Tofts model. K-trans, KEP, and VB are the parameters extracted from the curve fitting. IAUC60, the initial slope, and the peak are the results of the semi-quantitative analysis. The mean square error of the curve fitting is also displayed. Please refer to the website for the definitions of these quantities. You can export your results and contours by clicking the export button. Select the options and save your files. This is the end of this demo. Thank you.